Greetings fellow programmers, this is Pavel and this is another installment of our project where we are building our turtle graphics. And uh, we have our turtle uh, coded, our moving, we validate the moves, and we kind of play with the coordinates, uh, which is a little confusing. Uh, we are almost ready to run the game, we have a board that's updating, so we need to create a um, kind of our game loop. So I'm going to create another class. Add class. And I'll just call it game. And that's not what I meant. I don't know where it go. Jeez. Sometimes this IntelliSense is just not working well. Game. All right. So, uh, In our game, we will have our game loop, but uh, first we need to do a private integer, I'll call it option. Basically, that's the user choosing uh, what to do. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We will do a private, uh, and it's gonna be our object pen. Private, and it's gonna be our turtle object there you go turtle and uh, we will do a private boolean I'll call it quit that's basically will be true or false whether we're still playing or quitting so I'll just quit the game and um, private and we need the game board as well for the game obviously so, uh, in our public game uh, constructor, we will instantiate pen equals new pen, our turtle equals new turtle, our Let's make it like like consistent with the others. So it's gonna be our game board equals new game board and our quit at the beginning we will simply make it false. Alright, so let's create our main loop and I'll just call it public void game loop. Now we don't need any parameters there, I think. Well, we'll see, but for now we don't. And uh, our main loop will basically be do loops, do while. So do something while. Eh, I already did it. So um, while we quit, while we don't quit, basically, we will be looping. So not while quit, because quit is false. So while not quit, we will do our do loop. So let's do, what do we do at first? Well, I want to clear uh, the console for before each move, before each display of the, uh, of the game board. I want to clear it. So let's clear it. So prepare screen for next display. Now the next thing I want to write any possible error messages I may have encountered uh, you know with the from previous moves like uh, our move was off or like off the board or we invalid we had invalid input or anything like that so we will do console dot write line and we will do the messages remember this is a static class and it has a property called error message so we will display whatever the error message stores and after we display it, we will set the messages, the error messages, to empty. We displayed it, so now we are ready to, uh, you know, uh, do a, a correct our action. So we need uh, the error messages empty again. So uh, display any error message. Uh, well, if there's no error message actually, or 
blank if uh, no error message okay so like it can be blank I mean, if there are no error messages it will stay blank and um, so this one is the says I'm commenting everything reset error message for next input okay so that's uh, that's kind of the beginning of it so uh, first let's draw the the board at the beginning it would be just the empty board uh, but after we display any error messages we want to display the current uh, game board so I will do uh, game board dot draw game board and it expects X Y and the character for turtle so we will pass the turtle dot position X we will pass the turtle dot position y and we will pass the turtle dot and it's the turtle symbol all right so that's from our object so now uh, so what do we have if we have any messages then it will be on the top then it's gonna be the game board and under the game board we can display messages dot instructions we will display how to play the game so um, let me just uh, put a comment here too display the board based on current X and Y position and turtle symbol and um, the next one would be the just display the instructions that's kind of clear but I'll display game instructions and uh, let's display whether we are drawing or not so we are, let's display the state of our pen so our console dot right line and we remember in our pen we have our to string method that displays whether pen is drawing or not so we will simply go and display our pen which is the which will display by default the to string method display the state of the pen up or down and then we can display a right line we can display something like select your option we display in this uh, how to play the game so the user knows what to press one through seven and now we need to make sure that the user indeed pressed one through seven first we need to make sure that the uh, he actually entered a number in the first place not a character so if int die try parse let's read the console dot uh, read line let's read what the user uh, entered and we will do the out would be the option which is the input the option will hold the user input so if it's correct if it's an integer then it will be output as correct input uh, and our option will be returned so we will do make sure input is an integer okay so uh, we have that and uh, so if it's an integer now we have to check what integer it is one and two is for the pen action up and down or three four five and six is direction or seven is the to quit the game so let's do that so let's do if the option is greater than zero which would be one obviously and the option is less than three in other words it's one or two then input one or two for pen action so if this is the case we will do our pen dot and we will call the pen action equals and remember in our pen action um, 
we need to supply the uh, whether it's a uh, up or down which is an enum but obviously the, the input is a uh, an integer so what we are going to do is to convert that integer into our enum so all directions that directions we will cast that uh, into our option or we will cast our option in the integer that is being input into our all directions uh, enum so uh, we will do convert the input to the uh, to do enum except <laughs> I uh, this is my pen action and I convert it into a directions which is obviously wrong I meant to do pen that pen action but we'll do the same with the directions mm, pen dot pen actions like that okay because that's what we are calling uh, obviously into our pen action so um, else if else if our option option is greater than 2 which would be 3 and our option is uh, less than 7 in other words 3 4 5 or 6 so options 3 to 6 uh, which is directions all right so if this is the case then we will uh, set our direction so uh, I'm gonna do our var direction equals and I'll, I'll this is the same like calling the pen action except I'm going to do it uh, separately from the from the call itself I'll, I'll declare a different variable otherwise it will be kind of crowded so I will do all directions dot directions and I'll cast the option or I'll cast the all directions into our integer called option so now direction holds the uh, the direction variable holds the cast value of our option so uh, so this is the convert integer input to enum all right so um, and over here I can do something like console dot right line and we do uh, we output the message where the turtle is moving because right now we know where it's going so we will do uh, we will do turtle is moving and what direction so we will do the direction so basically this now holds north east south or west instead of just three four five or six because we cast it here i could have done it here but like i said it would be kind of crowded here in one uh, in one line so uh I did the cast separately and created a different variable for it. So display what direction was selected. Okay, so that's we are moving. Now we have to get the number of spaces. So let's inform the user console that right line and we will do enter number of spaces to move. And um, let's create an integer called spaces because that's gonna be our input. Because we need to make sure that this input is as well an integer. So we will again do if integer die dot try parse the uh, console dot read line. So if if it parses okay, okay, then we will do the out spaces now we have our spaces correct it is it is a, an actual number now we don't know if it's too many spaces yet but we know that it's an actual integer so make sure the number of spaces is integer so if this is true 
if that uh, if it's a valid uh, integer we can call our turtle dot walk and remember in our turtle walk the first thing that it does it actually validates to make sure that these spaces that we entered are not too many or too uh, you know like so we don't get off the board so um, we'll simply call the turtle walk and it expects something uh, as a parameter so it expects our direction so we will we will pass that uh, we spell it direction uh, it expects our spaces so let's just pass that and it expects to know whether the pen is up or down so pen we will do pen action we will pass the property pen action to it and it will tell our turtle over here that it expects the pen whether it's down which we will uh, and if it is then it we will draw because to draw over in turtle class will be um will be true so if this is a uh, however if this doesn't pa parse if we cannot call the the walk we will create a or call our message messages that and it was an invalid input let's just do that invalid input it wasn't a, it wasn't a, a valid uh, number not so much valid number it wasn't a, it wasn't a number in the first place it was a, an alphabet alphabetical number or a character so that's uh, for our walk here in our else if so this is a uh, one or two three four five six and also we will do uh, else if the option equals seven which means to quit we will we will do our quit will equal to true now because seven means that the user wants to quit quit the game now over here remember we are still uh, we are validating if it's an integer again if it's not else if it, if, the, if the first integer uh, of the first uh, input wasn't an integer then uh, we will create messages that invalid input all right so uh, this is our game loop and i think that will actually work we can go to our run program and which we will do in the next video of course <laughs> so stick around and that's gonna be the last one we are going to complete this exercise in the next video so take care